in PhotoFlexor, what you're going to do is hit Upload Photo. And if I want to manipulate this, it's like a poor man's um, Photoshop. And um, on the PhotoFlexor app here, it's initializing. Um, I'm going to hit Upload or Choose Upload. I'm going to pick that photo. All right. If I wanted to auto fix it, it would auto fix the lighting for me. I could crop out certain parts. Um, if I just wanted that, if I didn't want the lady eating popcorn or whatever in there, and then um, it should do that. So now I had the control click or whatever. Uh, I like the effects part. If you go into the effects part, uh, color splash is something that's pretty popular. All right, if you hit color splash, it's already set. So now I could just make sure that this part of the photo is in color. All right, I can make my photo a little bit bigger. I know it's a sloppy. All right. If I wanted to get a little bit bigger, I could. But if I wanted to make that part and apply it, of course, if I wanted to zoom in and do a better job, then I could do that. Um, the other, <clears throat> there's a lot of different um, effects I could do um, in here, and it's just kind of free. You can add stickers. Have some fun with it. Um, put wings on there. All right. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, just it's a like I said, it's a poor man's Photoshop. It's not hard to do. Um, there's some advanced. Uh, cutouts and resizing, cutting things out, um, animations that you can put in. And when you're all done, you just hit save, and you can save it to your computer. And it's not—it's a fast, quick little lesson, but it's basically uh, Photoshop online that you can use um, if you don't have the big, expensive Photoshop software. And it's something that we're going to be using this week to make our posters.